you ready to see them? Uh, I, I don't know, Kiki. I mean, do you think they're gonna like me? Or... Hmm? Don't be silly! They'll love you! Their parents loved you, and they will too. Okay, if you say so. Are you ready? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Huh? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, there's so many puppies! Oh my gosh, even St. Bernard's? What were my dogs? Oh my gosh, there's so many! <gasps> Aren't they all cute? Let me give you the rundown, since there's so many of them. The Dalmatians are descendants of Phoenix, the Beagles are Jiggies, the St. Bernard's are Pumas, and the Corgis are... <laughs> Thorgies! I did not plan that either. Thorgy liked our neighbor's Corgi, and well, I just thought it was a match made in heaven. <laughs> Speaking of Thorgy, follow me. Uh, okay. Um, one second. I'll close the door behind us. Uh, where are we going? Upstairs? Thorgy looks ecstatic to see you. Even though he's old and frail, he makes his way to you. Oh my gosh! I, you're so old, but you're still alive! I, uh, Kiki! Thorgy is still alive, but he's really old. It pains me to see him like this. But I figured he wanted to see you before he departed to our Lady Irene. Go on. Uh, Thorgy, I... The light slowly begins to leave his eyes. Though he still remains as happy as a puppy to see you. Oh. Uh. Kiki, can I stay here for as long as he... Please, stay as long as you need. I'll leave you to be. Thank you. <laughs> Come here, boy. I guess he was so excited to see you, his heart couldn't handle it. I... I'm so sorry. I know that was really emotional for you, but he was growing old. Uh, I shouldn't have. Uh, Kiki, it's alright. Um, honestly, I am so happy I was able to see him one last time. He was my first dog, and I'll never forget that. He may be gone, but... He lives on in my heart and memories. I have the power to bring him back, I know, but... To what? His body is so frail and old. His suffering would only increase. <sighs> no. I won't use my gift to bring back those who have lived full lives. That's just tampering with fate way too much. I agree. It would be cruel for you to bring him back when he's already accepted his age. But look. This is Thorgina. Thorgy's oldest of the litter. She was a real daddy's girl and never left his side. She seems to like you. You can keep her if you want. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to keep her, absolutely. That is, if she wants to be with me, then I'll gladly take her with me. Um, oh, you have to meet my other pup, Celestia, but she's over at Nicole's right now, so... But, yeah. Kiki, she likes you. It looks like the circle of life goes on. I'm happy for you, Afmal. Not just that, but I'm happy you're back. I know you're leaving in a few minutes, but I'm glad to know you're alive. <laughs> I'm glad to know. <laughs> I'm glad to know you're alive as well, Kiki. I mean, I didn't doubt that in my mind one bit, but I have to ask you, why did you leave Phoenix Drop? After you vanished from Phoenix Drop, Zoe took the boys to the Yggdrasil Forest, and well, Things started to feel like they were crumbling around me. I wanted Leona to be safe. 
even more so after I found out she was a werewolf. So a few months after Leona's first birthday, I decided to go take up the old Lord of Scales and offer to live here. Lucinda said it would be a better place for me to raise her as well. I'm sorry, I hope you don't think I abandoned everyone. I just needed to do what I felt was best for Leona and my animals. Uh, <sighs> Kiki, I don't blame you one bit, especially for you wanting to protect your babies, but I do want to ask you, what happened to Lucinda? Hmm? Oh, well, to be honest, I don't have a clue. She came to visit me a few years ago to see how Leona and I were doing, but I haven't seen her since then, nor has Nicole for that matter. I'm really worried about her, but then again, she has always been the, been able to take care of herself. I've gone a few years without seeing her and then she suddenly pops up out of the blue. She's an odd one, but she's such a wonderful person. I, she is, and I really do miss her. I do too. Oops, uh, you better be getting back to the docks. It's almost time for your ship to sail the Phoenix Drop. Leon and I will make a trip out there with all the pups one day to visit you guys. Right now, I have some cows that I need to, that need my attention. We'll keep in touch via bird. You better get going. Kiki, safe trip. <sighs> Thank you, Kiki. Um, yeah. Oh, Leona's there. Uh, well, Thorgina, would you like to come with me, or do you want to stay here? She looks eager to be with you. <laughs> All right, then follow me. You can be with me and you can meet Celestia. Come on. Uh, Leona, it was great to meet you. Hey, you. Um, my mom hasn't smiled like that, had, had a smile on her face that big for a long time. I just wanted to thank you for that. Though, I also want to warn you. Uh, wait. Huh? Warn me? Yes. I didn't want to do this in front of my mom, but last night I was sitting under the moon when I heard a message being broadcasted via Howl from the Southeastern Wolf Tribe. Their king was murdered, and Fenrir has become the new king. Not just that, but he's angry and is looking for someone fitting your exact description, as well as your friends. <gasps> Wait, what? But, but how? He was so kind to me! I, I, what? Werewolves have tempers they can't control sometimes. I don't know the whole situation, but I just want to make sure you know to watch your back. My mom obviously cares for you, and I don't want to see her hurt. Here, take these peppers. Oh, wait, wait! Don't take them out just yet! Let me stand back. Dogs don't like the smell of chili peppers, and these can prove useful for masking your scent. As long as you're in a village, I doubt werewolves will come looking for you. But outside... Be sure to carry those with you, to mask your scent. Uh, I, L Leona, thank you. No problem. Now you should get going. The faster you get out of Scalesman, the better. Don't come back until you talk to me first. I'll keep you informed to let you know if the Southeastern Wolf Tribe has calmed their search for you. It was great to meet you. Safe travels. Safe travel- Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take these out. Safe travels to you too, Leona. I'll see you later, and take care of your mom for me. Nicole, you know you're always welcome back here. I'd love for things to be as they once were again, but my duty remains here with my people. I am their lord after all. Nicole, you don't have to explain that to me. I completely understand, and I don't expect you to come back to Phoenix Drop. I knew you of all people would. I'll come visit when I can, outside of Phoenix Drop. Hey, maybe I can get in touch with Cadenza, and we can meet in New Metelli for a big sleepover or something. Irene knows Cadenza loves sleepovers. <laughs> that sissy girl. Gotta love her, though. Uh, <laughs> that would be really nice, Nicole. I would actually like that. Really? Then I'll arrange it. It will have to be in a few weeks or so. I have a lot of, I have a lot of work to do here. Now, I've loaded up the boat with some supplies to aid our allies in Phoenix Drop. I've also put a few things inside the crates you like. <laughs> now, safe travels to you, Avmal. And to everyone aboard the ship. 
Lawrence, Caitlin, Mask Guy, Dogs, you all be safe. Oh, one more thing. Tell Lawrence, thank you for the gift from the Garden Phoenix Drop, even though I don't need it. <laughs> don't ask. I I'll see you later. <sighs> thank you so much, Nicole, for everything. Malachi! Mom, you're back. I... What's with the catters on you guys? Are those real? It, it's a long, long story, Levin, but we're pretty much cursed. Cursed? What the... Uh, Malachi, go get Kawaii-chan. She might be able to help. Hurry. Don't worry. We'll figure a way to get those things off. Uh, it, it's quite all right, Levin. Honestly, I personally have gotten used to them, but I can't say much for Caitlin or Lawrence, actually. R really Are you planning on staying like that? It just looks... so... different. In any case, we'll talk about that later. As long as you aren't in any pain or anything like that, then I can rest easy. It looks like you guys have had quite the adventure. Come, let's get you guys settled and relaxed in the treehouse. I would love that, Levin. I would just love to sit down. Let's go. What? D dimitri what? Why are you- Ha ha! I'm here! Oh my god, D dimitri What are you doing here? You did- you, Did you stow away on the ship? Are you- Are you serious? N are, are you serious right now? Nicole is going to kill me! How did we not notice you on the ship? What? Mom can't kill me if she doesn't know where I am. Plus, I've asked her so many times to come to Phoenix Drop. My grandpa's stories of this place. How could I not come here? <laughs> Plus, I know you'll take care of me, right? I... Uh, uh, stop looking at me like that. I will. I'll take care of you. But, Dimitri, this is just... I have to tell you, ma your mom where you are. She's going to be worried sick. What? Well, if you're going to tell her, at least let me see the place, please. I promise I won't ever come here again. I just want to visit Phoenix Drop. My mom took me to Acasis, Brightport, Nashma, Kikril, and all those other villages he visited. Except for this one. Please, please, pretty please let me stay here. At least a day. <sighs> Dimitri, I just... <sighs> Fine. Alright, you know what? You can stay here for one day, but I'm still sending a message to your mother to let you know that, let her know that she's here, that you, I'm so frustrated, to let her know that you are here. One day, okay? R really? Thank you so much, Afmiao. Uh, hey, it's not Afmiao, it's, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, oh, look at this cutie pie. Crazy lady, let go of me, help! Uh, he's so cute! Kawaii Chan thinks he looks like a chibi Dante kun with his blue hair. Uh, can we keep him, Mama? He can be my Oni Chan because of our hair. <laughs> uh, I regret coming here. Help! This lady's going to kill me. She's squeezing me so hot. Uh, Kawaii Chan. Uh, Kawaii Chan, I brought you here to look at Afmau's condition, not for this kid here. Um. Yeah, but but Malachi-sama, look, he looks just like Dante-kun. Blue hair is super kawaii. I, like mine. <laughs> By the way, Mom, who is this kid? Uh, this is Dimitri. He's Nicole's kid, and he stowed away on our ship. And now I'm gonna have to message Nicole before she starts to panic. And ugh, this is just so frustrating. R really? Where did Nicole have a kid? Kawai-chan didn't know this either. Kawai-chan is so happy for- oh, Wait, Afmao senpai he's Nicole-chan's son? Yeah, I'm surprised you guys didn't know. I mean, I, she has a- Yeah. 
We've contacted Nicole within the past few years and never knew she had a kid. That explains a lot about why she's been so busy. She's raising a family. <laughs> yeah, I... So, kid, who's the lucky guy that married Nicole? I... My father died before I was born. No. Nicolette is sorry to hear that, Dimitri. Dimitri-kun, may Kawai-chan ask how old you are? Um, I'm six years old. <gasps> Mama, he's Nekowet's age! Can he come over to play? Please? Uh, Levin-sama, where is Dante-kun? Um, what? Uh, he's out on patrol with Kyle and won't be back until tomorrow morning. He told you that this morning, remember? I was there at your house. Um, okay. Hmm, Kawai-chan sees. Well then, why don't we all go up into the treehouse? Kawai-chan has cakes and- <gasps> Afa-senpai, where'd you get those ears from? Again, that's the reason we brought you here. <laughs> uh... So, what do you think? Yep, these are authentic Mifo ears. Admiral Senpai is even developing a scent like one of us. I... what? I... I didn't know there were more of you. Hmm? Admiral Senpai never questioned Kawai-chan's tail and ears? They were never a part of her maid outfit, you know. Kawai-chan is from the Tula region originally. Kawai-chan used to be a part of the Mifa tribe until she decided to open up a maid shop and move to this region. Then she had her maid shop in a few villages for a while, then Okasis, and then that field Afmao Senpai found my cafe in. Uh, Kawai-chan doesn't have time for a cafe these days, but she still makes sweets like she does. <laughs> so, Afmao Senpai say a Mifa named Michi-chan did this to you, huh? Yeah, <laughs> she did. Do you know her? Mm, Kawai-chan doesn't know her personally, but she does know Mikai-kun, who is Michi-chan's twin. They're brother and sister twins, to be exact. Complete opposites, too, Kawai-chan should add. Uh, speaking of Mikai, um, I met him in Skelswin. He's leading a refugee caravan from the Tula region. He said that the King of Havas is depleting resources and gaining more power. He asked to join the Phoenix Alliance, and I allowed him to. Um, I don't know if that was a great idea, but I decided if he's fighting for the right reasons, then, you know... The king is... No, not... No, it's fine. Kawai-chan knows that the king's influence would never reach us here, which is probably why Mikai-kun brought his people here. Kawai-chan is glad to hear that he's alive and well, or as well as Mikai-kun can be. Afmao senpai it's been a while since Kawai-chan has been home, and seeing you, Lawrence, and Caitlin like this? Well, Kawai-chan finds it comforting, but she knows you want to get back to normal. So, please leave this to me. Kawai-chan will find a way to break this curse. Promise. N now, um, about Dimitri. Uh, what about him? <laughs> when Kawai-chan first saw him, all she saw was blue hair and just assumed he looked like Dante-kun. But, but when she looked at him as she was hugging him, she, he started to look more and more like... Dante-kun, did, did Nicole tell you his father's name? Um, actually, I asked her, but then again I forgot to ask the second time. When I mentioned it the first time, she got really sentimental and, well, I mean, because she said he was dead. So, yeah. Oh, so Dimitri-kun couldn't be, at least Kawai-chan doesn't think, but she means, whew, that's a relief. For a moment there, Kawai-chan was, mm, Never mind. In any case, Kawai-chan would be happy to move Dimitri to that. Ah, Kawai-chan would be happy to have Dimitri Kun over since Nekoet Tan seems to have a really taking a liking to him. Nekoet Tan has always wanted an older brother, but the boys in town are younger than her, so Nekoet Tan has always looked to Levin Sama and Malachi Sama as her older brothers. But they've been so busy lately. In any case, go and relax as much as you can. Kawai-chan will take care of things tonight, as far as food and first aid. From the story Afmao Senpai told us about everything you went through, you all need some rest. Yeah, thank you, Kawai-chan. I appreciate it.
Huh, <sighs> okay. I can get up off this bed. All right. Uh, Caitlin, are you okay? Hmm. You still have the cat ears and tail. So that means... Koichan wasn't able to help you, huh? Darn it! Next thing you know, we'll be talking like her, too. If she doesn't do something about this, then... I will. I can't stand this. I went through a lot just to be respected when I joined the jury of nine. This isn't helping my pride at all. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you just gotta look on the bright side of things, Caitlin. I'll look on the bright side of things from over here. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Your mom made all these sweets? Wow! Yep, Mama sure did. She's teaching Neko at how to as well. I'm working on making apple pie right now. Aww. Um. Lawrence. Hey. Levin and Malachi excuse themselves. They went back on patrol since Kyle and Dante are outside the gate fixing up a few buildings, and Alexis is on guard around Sasha. Levin and Malachi are on the inner wall patrol duty. Not sure if you needed to know that, but I figured I should tell you. I see. Thanks, Lawrence. Hey, Akma? Uh, yes? Uh, um, it's nothing. Though, I figured I should bring it to your attention that Caitlin and I no longer have our guard armor. We're a little squishy without it. Not that we can't dodge a sword, but we can't dodge multiple swords at one time. <laughs> Whatever you have in mind for the future, do you think you can add getting armor to it? I know I used to guard without it, but having it on feels much safer. I understand. We'll find something. Th thanks. Um, have you met with Garth lately? Uh, no. I, when I've, I haven't met with him yet. I see. So it is random. You can't just make it happen. Remember to tell him what's been going on. Everything. I'm headed to bed now. Good night, my lo lady. Good night, Lawrence. I guess I'll get some sleep too. Not for some cake. <laughs>